everyone, it's Cathy here from Dorbello's Designs and today we're going to be recreating some sympathy cards. Now these are quite hard cards to do, they're, they're probably one of the least favourite cards people make because they're not for very happy occasions. So what I try to do is get some in advance and, and do like a block session where I make quite a few so that they're there when I need them and I don't have to make them if I'm feeling a little bit sad. <clears throat> right, so... The ones we're going to be making today are the ones I'm making five for this video. So it's slightly longer than usual video. And I'm going to show you some examples of another three or four that we're not going to do today, but you can see them and, and get the general gist. So the first one we're going to be doing is the one with the poppies. And they, a lot of these have got the panels across the center. So I think they're quite effective for, the, for this type of card. So we're going to do the poppies ones first. And then we're going to do this one, which says with love and sympathy, with some brightly coloured flowers. And then we're going to do one with the honeysuckle, again, with love and sympathy. And the next one is a floral wreath with some stenciling in the background, subtle stenciling. And the last one we're going to be doing is another panel card, but this time it's a coloured panel. And I did this with pan pastels and lavender. But you can do it with any, if you don't have pen pastels, you can do it with any sort of ink. It's the same, same effect. So they're the cards that we're going to be doing. Here's a couple more examples. I use the dandelion and the um, silhouette flowers in this one. Again, I use the honeysuckle uh, stamp there in a, a, across the panel. And I happen to have this uh, sentiment in my stash. Sometimes there are no words, which is quite appropriate. And another panel card with some stenciling in the background and some coloured flowers. So those ones we're not going to do, they're just examples. And these are the ones we're going to crack on with today. So I'm going to start with this poppy card first. So for, I'm going to show you all of the items I've used for all of these cards um, before we start. So for the stamping, we've got Versafine Claire Nocturne, Shady Lane, Monarch, Glamorous, Warm Breeze, Verdant and Green Oasis. Got some Sweet Poppy stencil tape and we have a couple of Elements inks in Merlot and Violet chalk. I have a, a Lilac Pan Pastel. Stencil brush for the stenciling and a Pan Pastel brush for, for that particular one. I've got a variety of uh, pastel pencils and some watercolour pens in various colours to coordinate. And lastly, the stamps we're going to use. I've got um, a stencil that I can't remember the name of this one, but I will find out and put it in the details underneath this tutorial for you. So one stencil, LAV835 Fairy Catkins. I'm going to use the one on the left and the two in the centre. LAV093 Lavender, Hanging Lanterns, LAV360, Forest Leaf, LAV845, The Honeysuckle, LAV109, Field Grass, LAV197, and The Heartfelt Verses, LAV677. And you can use you know, for sympathy cards, you can use three of them apart from the birthday. Right, so they're all the items we're going to be needing. So we're going to start, like I say, with the poppy card first. So for this card, I've got a piece of, I think in fact, probably for all of the cards, I think it's the same measurements. It's, it's approximately four inches by six inches white holy ferris card and some backing card that is 6.25 inches by 4.25 inches and then we'll put that on a piece of card once folded is five by seven so I'll start with this one i'm going to use a piece of the sweet poppy low tack tape and then i'm just going to use my eye you can measure it if you want to but i just like to do it by sight and i'm going to do it approximately in the center doesn't matter if it's not totally in the centre. I'm pressing that down a bit so ink won't go behind it. And I'm tucking those behind so that I can turn my card when I'm working. So I'm going to start with the grass stamp. Now with this I want three on one side and two on the other. So, oh sorry, I need a piece of 
torn copy paper just so that I don't go over the edge. So this side I'm going to have three, so I'll put that one in first, that one in second, that one in third. I'm going to flip it round, and this one is going to be sort of in between those two, so that one's going to be there, that one's going to be there. And I do advise you, if you're using the coloured inks, to quickly wipe off any excess ink, because you'll see that some of mine are stained where I've not cleaned them off quickly enough. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the poppies. I'm going to stamp these in red, in the glamorous. This time I want three on here, so I'm going to do those ones in the centre. Those ones to the side. Let's just take that bit off the side there. Absolutely wrong lid. <laughs> there we go. Right, now, if you have a black fine liner pen, if you want to, you don't have to do this. I try to do the stems in black. I mean, you can leave them red. I just think it's a little bit more detail. A bit thicker. And carefully peel this off and then we can have a sentiment. I'll do mine diagonally on there because I'm going to do that sentiment in green. And then just place that in the centre. There. So now I'm going to glue. the first one done they are quite quick cards to do and some of them if you want to when you've got the tape you can actually draw a line along them which is what I'm going to do with this one so I don't need that green anymore I need the warm breeze that green and purple so again I'm going to have a piece of tape old black mark on there, I don't know where it's come from, it can stay, so there we go. So this time, before we do anything else, I'm going to find an appropriate pencil. This one will do. And I'm just going to 
draw a line. Now, because this is a pencil pencil, I don't have to, to do it really straight because I'm obviously going to blend it. But if you were using a normal colouring pencil, I would suggest maybe using a ruler or something and making sure it's very straight. But as this blends, it doesn't quite matter. There you go. Right, so this time I'm going to be starting with the forest leaf, I think. Verdant. And I just want to do that at a slight an angle one side. side here, the other end, two diagonal leaves, okay. a quick wipe. lanterns. I'm going to do that in a warm breeze. Lavender, and I'm going to do this one in purple. Colouring done. Just going to take off the tape carefully. And then we're going to have the same sentiment on this one, and we're going to have it in warm breeze. Just stick that 
Mm-hmm. Number two done. And next we're going to do this one. Right, so this particular card, we haven't used any masking tape. I've got a bit of glue there, unfortunately, just now. Halfway up the card, like so. And quickly wipe that off. And then we have our two little ones down the bottom here. Need our sympathy quote. We'll do that one in Nocturne. And now we're going to use the stencil. try and take off lots of this because I just want it subtle. Take some off on the glass now I'm going to take some off on the paper too. And then I'm just going to position your stencil where you want it. I'm just going to have a little bit of stenciling. Very light. I'm barely pressing it on the paper. Very light. There we go. And done, and now we just need to paint colour, kind of the little buds in. Right, and now I'm just going to stick this onto my purple backing card. I'm going to stick this onto the white card and then we'll move on to the last one. Card number three. That one over. Actually, I've got two more to do. I'm going to be doing this one next which is the pan pastel background so for this one 
got two pieces of masking tape. Move that about two thirds. three pieces but I didn't get three pieces ready so it's going to go about there. Actually, I'm going to lower that down a little bit more and that one. I don't want it quite as big as how I had it. And then it didn't look straight. That's better. Tuck that behind. Right and this Again, like I say, if you don't have pen pastels, you can use distressed oxides, uh, elements, inks, something else. But I'm just going to use a piece of this now. It was a bit messy. sheet. I can take the top one off now. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom there so it protects the bottom. Right, so first we're going to do some lavender. I'm going to start with it upright in the corner and gradually work round. Lavender done. And next, just going to use a pencil. That's what I'll do. So draw some bits of grass. There is a, a Lavinia grass stamp you could use for this. sentiment. Actually, I think I'm going to change the sentiment on this one. I'm going to have um, with love, I think. Just for you. beauty of simple stamps. You can batch make them quite easily. And they look quite effective too. Let's get them back. And the last card we're going to do is this honeysuckle. So I'm going to get my 
now this I can stamp. And I'm going to stamp this in the Shady Lane. sentiment in the shady lane too. Put that down the bottom there. Give that a wipe. Right, so now I come to the colouring. I'm going to use a, a similar colour to the Versafine for colouring the leaves. At this point, I would normally add some stickles onto here, but because I want to stick it onto the card, I'm going to stick it down first and then add the stickles after. It takes a while to, to dry. So, let's start with this one. just let that dry so these are the cards that we've made today
One, two, three, four, five. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.